Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable JavaScript on the Google Chrome web browser. This is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and it should work for pretty much all of you guys if you follow along exactly with what I'm showing on the screen. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up our Google Chrome web browser. However you want to open it up doesn't really matter to me as long as we get it open. Okay, so with our Google Chrome web browser open, we want to navigate over to the More Options or the menu icon at the top right with the three vertical dots on top of each other. And you want to left click on it. And then you want to select the Settings option from the bottom of this context menu by left clicking on it. Now you want to scroll down to the bottom of this window where it says Show Advanced Settings and you want to left click on that. Scroll down a little bit again and right underneath Privacy, Click on content settings by left clicking on it. For JavaScript right here, you want to left click on where it says manage exceptions. So this would be if you want to have a specific exception to a website that maybe you wanted to block JavaScript for all sites except for this one site. So you just would post a domain of that website in here and either set it to allow or block depending on what your other settings are back here. So for example, if we did google.com and we set the behavior to block and we click done here, otherwise we can see allow all sites to run JavaScript is enabled, so that means that only Google will be blocked. However, if you click on do not allow any site to run JavaScript right here, and then you click on manage exceptions, you could change that to allow, meaning that Google would be the only site that was allowed to execute JavaScript. So, I mean, it's kind of redundant. It looks like it would actually let you save the block setting even though it would be blocking it for all their sites. It's probably done if you go back and forth. It doesn't want you to have to go through and change all of your exceptions, which makes sense. So once you're done doing that, you can click on Done at the bottom of this window, close out of your Google Chrome web browser, and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.